There are always a couple of people who want to read everything. And they care more about the art than they care about their own poetry. Those are the artists. Um, uh, and then, I mean, when I was in school, it was 1980, and the poetry community was so small compared to the way it is now, which is great, because now everyone's come in from the exile, well, from where they've been exiled, you know, um, all different colors, all different nationalities, all different political genders, everything, you know, and it's thrilling. But it's also so big, the whole thing is so big now, that. Um, there's a lot to know and a lot to read, and I think a lot of people don't read um, the poetry of the past um, as much as we did. We really felt, um, some of us really felt we should know everything. <laughs> we tried to read everything um, and uh, just made it our business to do so. I don't think that many people are doing it that as much now because everything is ultra kind of contemporary. Um, but when I work with poets, there's always one or two who want to read everything. And um, not, maybe not two, one. Um, and I, I identify with that person. Doesn't mean that the others won't go on to become successful, but I always say to them, your writing is its own reward. And what you're entering is a community of writers that has been speaking and writing from the beginning of human time. And they're your brothers and sisters, get to know them, you know. Um, but a lot of people are not that well read now.